Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're still loaded into the map. Okay army, follow me here. Also, once we've uh, told them all to wait here, we'll also need to go and locate Edie because okay, apparently Edie is parked out and won't follow me. Should have brought something. Mm. I'll sit. Enjoy your steam back, Veronica. That's an order. Alright, now... I would assume that Edie is right next to the door from where we entered the area and I think that is somewhere in this direction. Yeah, there she is. Come on now. Wait here, follow me, let's go. I didn't even realize that she was bugged, despite the fact that, you know, she wasn't following us in what, whichever, either. 34, I think, yeah. 30, 34. 30, 30 floor. Yes, it's a vacuum cleaner. Okay. As soon as we have ED waiting with these fine folks, we can enter stealth. Um, try this way, ED. There we go. And after this, we are going to go and see if we can finish Raoul's side quest. And then we are also going to see... And once we have done Raoul's side quest, we can uh, nicely put Rex, Veronica and Raoul away. In the penthouse. No, not the penthouse. The presidential suit. Waiting for me. And I'll never go back to them. Except for whenever I deliver loot. Which may be relatively often. So maybe I'll go back to them. This should be cause any real issues. Also, what else? Ah, and because I might actually be planning to do a DLC mission next. It may be smarter if I just leave Boone and e Edie behind as well. Though on the other hand, we could do for the Republic Part 2. Which is the one that we... That includes our uh, diplomatic agreements with uh, the president, <laughs> not the presidential, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Yes, the presidential steel. What would even that be? Like the Air Force One? Huh. Anyway, our the fine gentlemen we are waiting for should be about any time now. If I am correct, anyway. We look at trusty sip from our trusted thing. Also, we have a moving marker. Time to wield the greatest weapon of them all. The binoculars. The marker is in that direction. Must be behind the plane. Huh? Oh yeah, there it is. See? There's our traitor. Or instrument thingy, anyway. Basically traitor. And this is when the binoculars are actually of use. Because we don't want to endanger him by accidentally clicking and shooting his head off. Because that would be very very counterproductive for this mission because everyone would just be angry at me instead of rewarding me for my job well done. This is a he, right? Yeah, I think so. Looks like it. Then we'll follow him in and listen to what he has to say. And then we'll be good, good, good. Alright, he's in, which means we should be in. Alright, uh, the password should be. Oh, is it a different one now? Civil? 
No. Uh, can't. Nope. Clues. No. Loses. No. Loves. There we go. Lots of stats there. Lots of stats. Though actually, I don't think this is of any use. No mind. Lupa, this is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10 4. Keep us updated. 10 4. Oh, well. That means we need to react. There is a train explosion we need to prevent. So, yay. I'm not sure if we actually... Well, I did actually take a look at who the traitor was, so there is that. But maybe the character magically knows who it was now. Maybe. We can only hope. Alright, jump over this. Over this, over this. There are explosives set somewhere over here. Or somewhere over here. I'm not sure where. I don't think I've successfully done this part of the mission before. Or may I? Have? The train is about, about to depart. depart. No! Well, poop. Can we try that? Alright, uh... Now I see we can get on the train, so there is that. We can open this vent. We can defuse the charge. Good. I thought the vent was somewhere outside, like... Like the whole station exploding, not just the train. But that was not the case. Which of course is a good thing, because that means it's more explosion. So let's you uh, be, to get say, an explosion. Do you always look like that? I always look like that. Let's see now. Uh, hello? Hello. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. I thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, you won't be having problems with intelligent leaks anymore. No? What happened? It was Curtis, he's in the Legion. I can prove he tried to blow up the monorail. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. I'll have Curtis taken into custody. If he lets himself be taken alive, that is. Alright, I'll see you around. Bye. And I'll level up. Nice. Alright, uh, what should we even do? Sneak's good. Uh, Potter's good. Uh, also, melee weapons are good. Medicine is good, like that. Or maybe instead of part of right now, we'll go for melee weapon 75 so we actually meet the weapon requirements for our thing. And instead of stealth, we go for guns. And let's let's keep stealth going. Continue. Now what? Oh, burden the bear. That actually sounds pretty good. The silent running would be very nice as well, but... Uh, uh, let's go with silent running first, because that actually is kind of more useful most of the time, I think. I don't remember where it was. Here it is. Yeah. Okay, dogs. That uh, means we should now go and pick up our army. Oh, we're the boss now. Yeah. But Ronald is already calling us boss. Huh. Alright. Now just... Let's just straight on head to our party. Yeah. Pick him up and then I'll go... And talk to all the people that Raul needs to hear me talk to.
You start things off and no one can visit Range Randy. Oh, and this nice and making it. Yay. Any word on Station Charlie? I haven't been there yet. Uh, what do you do here, Randy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting. I'm gonna skip through this count. because we have had this conversation before. Yeah. And then goodbye. Is that good enough for you? Is it? Or is the fact that I had talked to him before going to cause problems with Raul's quest? Raul? Oh well. Might be the case. Alright, let's wait a few more hours until the stores are probably open. Hey boss. Oh, there Can we go. I ask you something? Sure, what's on your mind? What do you think of guys like Ranger Andy? Uh, what do you mean? Or... I think he's a hero of Tensia. That wasn't what I meant, really. I mean, guys who have a world of experience doing what they do, but have to give it up because they're getting old and slow, or too injured. And even after equipping injury, a guy like Andy Stuffer and more dangerous than most men alive. Maybe, yeah. I guess you got a point there. We're not just talking about Ranger Andy, are we? Not really, boss. No. After the fire, I knew my sister and I couldn't stay at Hidalgo Ranch anymore. The refugees still wanted me dead. They even put a bounty on me. I remember how scared Rafaela was. I told her if she came with me, we'd see the vaquero. She used to love the rodeo, especially the trick rider. We figured maybe we could find help in Mexico City. We were young. We didn't know what had happened, really. We didn't understand about the bombs. Uh, wasn't Mexico City basically annihilated in the Great War? I don't think it was as hard hit as DC or Bakersfield. But it was bad enough. By the time we got there, the city was a radioactive ruin. Still, the city was full of looters already forming into the beginnings of raider tribes. Crime was bad before the war, but now it was a nightmare. We were living like scavengers, scraping by on what little food we could find always looking for medicine for my burns. And then, of course, the radiation started to kick in, turning me into this handsome devil you see before you. Sounds pretty bad. You're a poet of understatement, boss. But there were moments it was almost worth it. I still remember finding that novelty costume shop. I was just looking around for something I could slice up to wrap my burns when I saw the vaquero outfit hanging on the rack like it hadn't been touched. I took it, not like anybody else needed it, you know, and wore it back to our camp. Rafaela laughed for the first time since the bombs had fallen. Uh, wasn't it dangerous to just so noticeably? It was. I started to build up a legend. Sometimes it headed off trouble, but most of the times it just started more. Young punks looking to prove themselves would come looking for me, but my eyes were sharp and my guns were quick. For a while, it seemed like we might even survive there, until, until Rafaela. Don, what happened to Rafaela? She went out to find some food one day. I was sick, so I stayed at our camp. I guess it must have been the beginning of radiation poisoning. Anyway, it was supposed to be safe, but some raiders happened to pass through where she was scavenging. I won't speak of what they did to her. When I found her body, the only way to recognize her was this funny little scar on her knee from when she was a little girl. That's terrible. Terrible doesn't begin to cover it, boss. I let my whole family down. First the ranch, now Rafaela. I was the last Tejada. I guess maybe I went a little crazy then. I took my guns and went back to that market. I didn't have many bullets, but I had enough. After the raiders were dead, I salvaged what I could from the store. I was tired. I just wanted to be alone forever. So what did you do? I left Mexico City behind. I made my way out to the Gulf Coast. Eventually I found an old Petro Chico refinery nobody had claimed. I stayed there for a little while. And I thought a lot about my life. I thought about the guns I'd lived by. And what they'd gotten me. I decided my guns hadn't gotten me anything. And it was time to give it up. I took off the old vaquero outfit and put on a Petro Chico jumpsuit. 
The name tag said Miguel, so I started using the name myself. Eventually, I made it to Arizona. That's another story, boss. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for the story time. We'll get him to give us another story time soon. But first, I'll sell us some shit. All right, that'll do. Though that's not really much. Okay, see you around. Come back. And now to our next stop. Hello, loyal. Let's talk of. Isn't that of everything. armor of beauty? Thanks so much for making an old man's dreams come true. Can I get a code to using the VR bots in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Okay, I was just curious. Anything else you need? I've got work to do. Uh, apparently not. Later. Uh, Raul, I just used up all of his uh, dialogue. I hope that counts. <laughs> because there really wasn't a lot of dialogue then. That's a good thing to see, huh, boss? What are we talking about this time? That loyal guy. He's getting up there in years, but he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. Uh, yeah. Rose is using his years of knowledge to help his tribe. I think that's a noble goal. Yeah, that's what I thought too. What's on your mind? Old history, boss. I left everything when I left Mexico. My home, my family, my name, even my face. I know it's surprising, boss, but I wasn't always this handsome. As far as the world knows, I was Miguel, and I was okay with that. I headed north for a while, and ended up in Tucson. Not Tucson, by the way. Things were good there. Well, maybe not good, but better than Mexico City, anyway. I found myself a little shack, started fixing things. Fixing things? Oh, sure, boss. I was always good at fixing things. Some I fixed for the town, some I fixed for other people, some I fixed just for the hell of it. It's a better way to use your hands than killing. And even then, I wasn't getting any younger or faster. I lived there for a long time, kept it myself, didn't get into any fights. Hell, the only reason I even kept my guns oil was professional pride. Why aren't you still there then? Getting there, boss. I'd been in Tucson. The locals can call it Tucson all they want, but it's Tucson, damn it. About 75 years when she showed up. Pretty thing you ever saw, boss. Maybe it was just a trick of my senile brain, but I swear she looked just like my Rafaela. Her name was Claudia. She ended up taking work at one of the brothels in town. I never went to her, of course. How could I? But I looked after her in my own way. What happened with her? This was a long time ago, before Caesar's Legion pacified Arizona and brought the Raider tribes to heel. A tribe came into Tucson one day. More a gang, really. Dirty Dave and his six brothers. They were looking for bullets. And I sold some to them. I figured if I did that, they'd leave town before they tore it up too much. But they didn't, did they? No, boss. No, they didn't. As I was saying, I hope they leave the town in peace. Instead, they decided to stop at Claudia's brothel to take the edge off. I don't know which one of them got rowdy first, but by the time I heard the screams and got my guns, it was too late. They shot up the brothel, killed four girls, and taken Claudia for their sport. Did you rescue her? I went after Dave and his brothers. They had a head start, but they slept nights. I didn't. Took me three days to catch up to them. Claudia was dead when I got there. They put a bullet in each of her eyes. I couldn't do anything except the Avenger, just like Rafaela. I charged into the middle of their camp and started firing. Two of them were dead before they knew I was there. The other five, though, they shot the shit out of me. I would have died, I think, if I wasn't so full of rage. How did you survive? By being a meaner old cuss than the rest of them, boss. I wanted to keep living until they weren't. So I just kept shooting until they were all dead. I was in pretty bad shape in the end, though. I don't know how long I laid there, with the sun baking me and the buzzers chomping at me. Eventually, I got the strength to start moving. Some long time after that, I managed to drag my carcass back to town. What happened then? When I recovered, more or less anyways, I left Tucson and headed west. 
I ran into Tabitha at Black Mountain, and well, the rest you know. I swore I was done with the gunslinging life. I was too old, too slow, and too beat up to protect anyone anymore. I thought I was done forever, but after traveling with you, I realized I've always had my doubts. Doubts about what? About whether I still had what it took to carry my pistols proudly, to use them to do what's right. And now that I've been traveling with you for a while, you made me realize that I could still do that. Maybe I'm not as tough as I used to be, but my brains can make up for that. And my hands are still quick enough. It's time to put the guns back on. I think that's a great idea, Raul. I hope you'll put them to good use with me. Though I could make him a mechanic instead, but I don't, think, I don't see why I would do that. You can bet on that, boss. Raul has gained the old Vakura perk, which increases his rate of fire with revolvers and lever action firearms by 33%. And he has a nifty hand. Of course, now I think it's time for us to return to the presidential suit. Gonna put away some of my skin things, like the All-American, and only the All-American. You? Okay, you can have, like, a bolt suit thing. What do we have? Bolt free jumpsuit, bolt 34 jumpsuit, security armor, security helmet. Anything else of interest? Probably not. Okie dokie then. That means we can leave this thing alone. Uh, Veronica? Raul? Come look at the spatula. Rex, you can also wait here for and look at the spatula. Raul, wait here. Okay, boss. You'll not, you'll not be alone. Veronica will be with you. Should have brought something. Yeah. As will Rex. Okay, I think that will be enough for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. That's a garden gnome. I mistook him for a actual Bowser ganger for a moment. But I think he's just an honorary one, so we don't need to kill him.